Just got a package in the mail. Actually, this came yesterday or the day before and wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing. I guess everybody loves mail day, right? And uh, kind of wanted to share what my plans were this. So I picked up this lot on uh, Blowout. I thought it was pretty fairly priced and, and uh, had a few cards that I actually uh, have been looking for for my PC. And then the others I thought, you know what? Why don't we do a little experiment and just see if I could turn a profit selling these on eBay. I, I've, I've always wanted to try to sell a handful of cards on Reddit, so maybe I'll try that as well. It might be a little bit easier and quicker than eBay, but I uh, either way was thinking, you know, it's very difficult to uh, turn a profit, especially on more of the modern stuff, but I thought, yeah, why not? Let's, let's give it a shot and see. Just to caveat, none of this is what I would consider extremely high-end or anything like that. I think as most of you know, I, I really like to deal in what I consider affordable cards because I, I do this for the enjoyment of it. I, I'm not uh, doing it to try to make a living. And so with that, I just about have this well-packaged package open. So let's uh, take a look and see what we have to share here. All right. So first, I've got a 2018 rookie debut uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. I've got a Fernando Tatis rookie card. I believe, is that a 2020? I'm, I'm not that clear. 2019, I guess, maybe. Wait, 2017? No, 2019. Uh, and then I've got another uh, Fernando Tatis rookie card. This is the rookie debut. I got a, a Bowman Platinum Fernando Tatis rookie card. I've got a Bobby Witt Jr. Tops Black Gold rookie card. I've got a Corbin Carroll. It looks like a Mojo, uh, Bowman Mojo. I don't know what year that is, actually. That's a 2020. So it's not a Bowman first, but I don't remember if they had the Bowman first on the Mojo or not. So maybe it is his first year. I don't really know. All right, then I had a uh, Grayson Rodriguez numbered to 99. It's kind of a cool looking card, honestly. I kind of like that. Uh, yet to see if Grayson's going to be the real deal or not. But this is a 2020. Also, I don't believe a Bowman first because I'm pretty sure this uh, iteration would have had the first on there. As you can see, I don't know a whole lot about some of this stuff, but just kind of interesting. Uh, then I did have a Bowman first Xander Bogarts, which is what, a 2013? Is that right? 2012? Good guess. Uh, so interested to see uh, if that has any real value. Uh, Bogarts, still a great player. I don't think he's he's Hall of Fame worthy, He but he's a fantastic shortstop, very consistent performer. All right, then I've got a, a Frankie Alvarez. Looks like a Speckle uh, Refractor. That's 2020 as well, which also doesn't carry the first. So I don't know when his first is. His rookie year was just this year. All right, and then I've got a Gunnar Henderson Mojo, and that is a 2020 as well. I actually got two of those. Also, I don't believe a first for Gunnar, but... Gunner is an exciting player. I, I believe in him. I think he's the real deal. Uh, got another Acuna Jr. Uh, rookie debut, and that is a 2019, I believe. 2018, sorry. All right, then I've got a, is this a Topps Living? No, Topps Gallery. Sorry, I can't keep up with all these different variations. Uh, and this is uh, another 2018 Acuna Jr. rookie card. I kind of like that card. Maybe I'll hang on to that one. All right, then here's an interesting one. I had a Bowman, fir Bowman Chrome first of Alex Bregman, which I believe is a 2012. Is that right? I got to take a look. I can't even see. Maybe you guys can see it on there. No, my eyes are getting bad. All right, then I've got a, a Bowman first uh, for Freddie Freeman, which I was pretty excited about. This one's just slightly off center, so it's not something I would necessarily send to PSA, but it's it's a fantastic card. Uh, Freeman, I think, will be in the Hall of Fame one day, so that's... Pretty exciting. All right, got two more packs here. I really couldn't remember what all was in this lot, so I'm kind of excited to uh, to open it up. So, all right, here I've got a uh, Topps Diamond Anniversary. It's a Nolan Ryan in his Mets uniform. That look, card looks like it could be from the early 70s, I'm guessing. This is 
a 2011 Topps card. So I might hang on to this for a, a certain friend of mine. Maybe you guys know his channel, Return to Collecting, not Return at Collecting. But anyway, Darren's a huge Ryan fan. I like to give him some of these one-offs that I come across. I just think he appreciates them as much as anyone. And this is actually a fantastic uh, shape card. Maybe he'll send that one in to uh, SGC maybe and see what he gets there. But all right, then I got a Logan Webb rookie card. This is some kind of refractor thing as well. I don't really know what it is. Oh, it's numbered to 264. Okay, not 265, not 260, 264. All right, then I got a Julio, Julio Rodriguez. That's just a base rookie card from 2022. I got a Freddie Freeman rookie card. This is actually Diamond Anniversary Factory Set Limited Edition. Yeah, I kind of like this. I might uh, hang on to this card as well. Should be a 2011. All right, then I got a uh, Corey Seager Home Field Advantage. I don't know if these Home Field Advantage cards are worth a ton. This actually looks like it has a little couple dirty spots possibly on the card at the top right. But anyway, but they're still fun cards. I kind of like that. And uh, World Series champion, so congrats to Seager. And I may see if that's uh, worth anything on the market. All right, and then I got another pretty interesting card. This one is a... Julio, Julio Rodriguez numbered to 99. It's a, gr a green refractor and Bowman Chrome from 2020, I guess. Yeah, so not his first, but still an early Julio card. And then another uh, base 2022 Julio rookie card. All right, last pack. Let's see what else we have here. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the uh, selection here. And like I said, I, I knew what I was getting when I bought this, but I didn't take the time to uh, analyze too closely everything that was in here. I just thought it would be a, a fun pickup. So I got an Ellie De La Cruz Bowman first. I think that's a 2022, if I remember right. I got a Stephen Kwan. I believe that's a gold rookie. Yep, and that is number uh, two, 2022. So that's a, that's a pretty great card. Stephen Kwan's a, a very exciting young player. All right, got a Bobby Witt Jr. base rookie card. I actually don't think I have this one. And Bobby Witt's one of my favorite players since I am a Royals fan. All right, got a, um, who is this? Max Scherzer. Oh, yeah, so that's a, a, actually a Scherzer rookie card. Looks like an upper deck, which is kind of unusual to me. And that's a, I'm going to have to look. I, I can't even tell what year this is. 2008, does that sound right? Maybe. I don't know what I've got here. But anyway, Scherzer rookie. The guy did tell me that Scherzer's got a ding on it somewhere, so it may not be a, a 10 quality card, but I'll tell you, just at first glance, yeah, I see the bottom uh, left corner there has got a little uh, damage on it. But otherwise, it's a great looking card, and I may see uh, what I can get for that one, or I may hang on to it. I'm, I'm a Scherzer fan. I think he's a fierce competitor. All right, and then I got another Freddie Freeman rookie card. This is his Bowman. I believe it's a base uh, rookie for Fre Fred Freddie Freeman there. For, 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 for Freddie. And then I got a Seiya Suzuki rookie card. I believe that's a 2022. Yep, that's right. I think there's Suzuki has a pretty big following. All right, and then I got a Freddie Freeman uh, first Bowman. And this one, uh, I can already tell, has a little bit of, of white around that corner. I think you can actually see it fairly well in this picture um, in the video here. And that is a it's a gold. I don't know if that's a gold card. 2008. I don't really know if this is something special or not. But anyway, I mean, I'm a big fan of Freddie Freeman. And that is it, guys. So my plan is to uh, come up and provide an update. I'll share what I spent on these cards uh, after I figure out what I make on them so I uh, can determine if I tell the truth or not where my profits lie. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, would love to hear your comments below. And if you are interested in any of these cards, I'll make you a fantastic deal. I'm not looking to get rich, just looking to uh, kind of share the love. So make me an, an offer if uh, you're interested. Otherwise, just leave a comment below. Thanks.